does a dragon begin it can it can kind of come from anywhere sometimes it's an idea you have in the shower hey this would be a cool dragon we did the apocalypse dragon around the mayan apocalypse that whole big hoax and we just thought that would be fun let's do something that's kind of relevant the first phase of dragon creation is it, it kind of depends it's kind of like writing a song sometimes you come up with the rhythm first and you put words to it sometimes you come up with the words first and it's a very creative process and it can kind of come from anywhere but usually it starts with an idea of a name Naming dragons is the hardest part of my job. Yeah, we spend a lot of time on that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Max. I'm a game designer. Hi, I'm Kevin. I am also a game designer. I get to come to work every day and think seriously about how magic interacts with dragons and magic eggs and floating islands. So creating a dragon can come from any number of places. Sometimes it's an idea around uh, a season. Sometimes we have elements that we want to combine, and sometimes it's just the magic of the wizards that just happens to come to us. <laughs> sometimes uh, the dragon finds you. Sometimes the dragon <laughs> does find you. We come up with a plan for the fun long before it ever becomes the fun or the magic of the game. We play our game daily, we sort of try and figure out and get into the heads of players and say, this is what makes Dragon Veil cool, this is what make, would make Dragon Veil cooler. More than half the time it's about what would I like to see in the game as a player. So we kind of figure out the shape of all the magic in here and our job is to make it make sense as much as possible on the paper <laughs> for the engineers and the artists and everybody else who gets to actually make the stuff. Awesome. Like here, <laughs> uh, in front of the camera, <laughs> to the camera. <laughs>